Hello, in this video let's talk about the time page. This page is a hub where you manage all your time entries. There is a global search at the top where you can find any project to which you have access, then find a task from this project and start tracking your time with a timer or adding hours manually, not just for today but for any previous date. Additionally, you can leave some comments here to give more context to what you were doing. The page is split into three tabs. On the lists tab you see time spent on this week. Today is always at the top and you see time entry per task. You can add more hours, edit time and estimate, comment on it entry or delete this time. It's very easy to just restart tracking your hours by clicking on a timer button and uh, on the left side you can see when time was submitted. If you see the yellow time entry it means that time was stopped by somebody or maybe per team policy. Additionally, you can click on a task to go to its time log and see more details about how time was tracked and who stopped your time. Time should shows all tasks and daily time on every task. Again, you can simply restart your timer add hours manually, update them. You can see that it's possible to make some of tasks as favorite and uh, it makes it very easy to find them next week so you don't have to add tasks. Although it's very easy to just add a new task to this timesheet open recent tasks, download your timesheet or switch to the compact view. By the way, you can also just move a time entry to another task or to another date of this timesheet. Time card is perfect for logging time for salaried employees or team members who don't need to log their hourly work. You can turn off this feature in your team apps page. So here you see when a person starts working, when they end their work and what triggered uh, this action. A user can manually clock in and clock out and this will reflect time here. Clock in can be automatically initiated uh, with starting a timer on any task, clock out can be automatically initiated if you set the working hours in your team settings. You can see the total number of breaks and total number of hours. You can also just enter this data manually. One more thing to mention is that you can use our browser extension to track the status. You can see I have a running timer and the browser extension shows me that I'm active and on what task I'm tracking my time. It's a copy of my list tab. There is also a search by task here where I can type in the name of the task and start or stop my timer. That's all I wanted to share with you. If you still have questions about this page, feel free to contact us at askeverhour.com or click on the green question mark button to read other support materials.